Hello, my dear friends of electronics. Today I invite Vinod. Hi, Vinod. Hello, Laura. To explain more about this acceleration sensor, we have uh, this small MEMS acceleration sensor, which is so small that you you can't solder by hand anymore. For sure. <laughs> so what we did for that, it is a kind of develop development board or evaluation board. evaluation board, and I saw. Um, you have here two connectors. On one connector is IC square, others come to what? What is the second connector? The second one is called SPI. SPI. Okay. And then I see that you have a lot of different uh, small connection here. What is this? So those are pinouts directly from the sensor. There are twelve pins from the sensor. Okay. So you can access every each pin. Okay. And what are the passive components here? Those are decoupling capacitors, so it isolates the uh, noise on the VDD line, okay, so just to keep decoupling. the power supply safe. Okay. So, but alone this evaluation board, you cannot operate, but just plug it to the wall, or you need a platform for that, right? For sure. Yeah. Which platform is available? Um, we recommend many different platforms. So the easiest option would be using an Arduino Duo or Uno. Okay. We have Arduino Duo here. And anything else? Just. Arduino or as you already saw, the, there are pinouts directly for SPI and I two C. So we have developed a sensor shield for Arduino. So one could directly uh, talk to four different sensors through this I two C and SPI. Okay, and how about other platforms? Other platforms, it depends. So STM thirty two microcontroller platform. We have Raspberry Pi. So everything uh, is usable. We have two different uh, software packages. So the first package is called Platform Independent Package. Okay. And the second one is Arduino Library. So easily ah, okay. downloadable and integratable. And I see on the shield you have 3.3 .3 volt, you have also the 5 volt. So let's start to operate that. Sure. Now I can check the XX, YX, and ZX. That's right. It's working. Yeah. Of yeah, it's cool. Uh, I read something about this single tap and double tap. Can you give me more detail? What is this single tap, double tap? So our sensor is uh, a little bit intelligent. So we have integrated uh, tap detection functions. So the sensor can detect single tap and double tap. And how I know that is detected? There are two different possibilities. So the sensor has two physical interrupt pins. One could get the interrupt signal from these two pins or through a software uh, uh, just reading the status register. Threshold or something. Correct. Okay. Cool. I like it. Um, you know, what for application I need this double tap or single tap? So the tap function from the sensor uh, replaces the mechanical switches on the displays. Compared to mechanical switches, the sen when integrating the sensor, uh, one could save a lot of money and it is very reliable and also very stable. That's for sure. So, thank you so much, Vinod. Thank you for the invitation, Laurent. And if you want to know more about this sensor, below you can download the application note. And I hope you get some new information and watch my next videos.